Hello, one and all. Um, to the point where most things in the garden are planted, um, one of the things I tend to get a little later on is um, planting my winter squash um, because this area right here is um, where we winter our chickens. We cover this trellis with um, green greenhouse plastic um, and this is part of their shelter for the winter. So then it's always a matter of just getting everything reset, which we're most of the way there. Um, so what I've done is I've put soil and compost on either side um, of this cattle panel trellis and covered it really, really, really heavy with grass. Now I did that because um, some of the compost that's in there didn't really have the chance to heat up to the point where it's going to kill the weed seeds that are in it. So I figured the more the uh, the more mulch, the better. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to plant two um, hills of squash um, on either side of each cattle panel. So there's three cattle panels here. here. Um, so I'm going to plant um, six on each side. Now in years past I have planted them heavier and uh, this kind uh, Rosa Violina um, butternut squash is what I have been planting. Um, it's absolutely delicious. I'll put a picture in of some of last year's harvest right about now. Um, we had a 12 pound squash. Um, the thing that I was finding is that these, like the, the, the fruit kept like aborting where it would, it would develop, it'd be a nice size, and then the whole bottom would just like, or actually the, the top would like go soft and then it would just start to rot. Um, and I read some reviews that said that, that tended to do that. I'm wondering if I had it planted too so I'm going to try to be more conservative this year, just two um, plants on each side of each trellis, like I said. Um, and then this one is a mini butternaut um, that I'm, I've never planted before, um, but I thought this would be a little easier because sometimes these get so big, to use them on a weeknight um, is a little difficult because the, the squash is so big, it's more than one meal. So when I, when I cook one of these, I need to either have a couple meals planned where I'm using squash, or I have to freeze some of it and just on a weeknight with work and homework and everything like that, that doesn't always happen. Um, I also have radishes. Now I'm not planting these radishes to eat. I'm planting these radishes around um, each squash plant. Um, when they go to blossom, they're supposed to attract like a parasitic wasp that helps manage your squash bugs. Um, I haven't done it like this before. We're going to give it a shot. In terms of organic gardening, um, from other channels I've watched, from my own experience, squash is difficult because you've got squash bugs, you've got cucumber beetles. Um, they're like little striped, they look like small ladybugs and they're striped and you've got um, vine borers. There's a moth that lays its egg at the base of the squash. When it hatches, it burrows in and burrows down the vine and kills the plant. Um, those prove to be a challenge um, for organic gardeners. We're gonna try the, the radishes to help with that, the radishes to attract the parasitic wasps. Um, and I also like getting it up in trellis because then I feel like I can see more I come in um, and just walk through and hand pick um, those bugs and beetles a lot during the summer and they get fed to the chickens. So let's get to planting.
so the winter squash is planted. Um, we've got <laughs> really bright sun, but we've got six places that's planted on this side, four delicata, and two of the really big Rosa Violina. And then on the other side, can't even see the camera. Um, there's a big glare from the sun. Um, the other side, there are four hills of the mini butternuts and then two more of the Rosa Violina. Um, just a clarification for newer gardeners out there, summer versus winter squash, you plant them at the same time. They both grow during the summer. The difference is summer squash you're harvesting throughout the summer and using like zucchini, um, yellow squash, those kind of things that you're, you're harvesting them while they're still young and tender and you're using them in sautés and in different bakes and um, zucchini bread and those kind of things. Winter squash, um, you let them fully mature on the vine. Um, and then when they're, when you're almost to frost or you're getting towards the end of the season, you leave a section of the stem, like you, you want a nice long stem, you cut that off and you let them cure um, somewhere where you've got nice ventilation and some um, good temperature, um, good warmth. I don't know if you would necessarily want to do it in the sun, I usually put them in the shade, but you let them cure for a while and then you put them someplace like in your basement, that kind of thing. And they store pretty well through the winter. Um, so that's the difference. One that is made, you let them fully develop so you can store them in the winter, the one you're using throughout the summer. Um, so I'll insert a few pictures here um, after I'm done talking of what my squash harvest has looked like, how it looks like when it's growing on the trellis. Um, I absolutely love the trellising. Um, it just kind of gives you a little like little green hideout um, in the garden. Um, thanks for joining us and more to come.